Hey everyone, today is February 18th, 2008. I'm Natalie Warren, bringing you all the sweet technology news. Our top stories today, Apple TV returns, win money with World of Warcraft, and a bunch of other stuff. This is Logic TV. Here's what you missed in the news this week while you were trying to get a date for Valentine's Day. Microsoft attempted to buy out Yahoo for $44.6 billion but was shot down in flames. Ferrari is releasing a pedal car next month for toddlers, which you can buy for $700 to $2,000. More bad news for HD DVD, Netflix and Walmart are now Blu-ray exclusive. Everyone's already been saying the format war is over, but now it's really over for realsies. For sure. I'm not even kidding. Just sell your HD DVD player to a failed technology museum right now. Speaking of the death of HD DVD, it's been found that the Xbox 360's failure rate is around 16% compared to 3% for the PS3 and Wii. Hey Microsoft, maybe you should stop sucking. Are you living in shame because you don't have an iPhone yet? Just wait for it. The 3G-enabled iPhone is coming in late spring, according to our very credible sources, and it'll have twice the capacity of current iPhones. Let's just hope it's not also twice the price. And now for our top stories this week. Starting in April, the top World of Warcraft player amongst us may actually be able to generate some income simply by poning noobs in 3 vs 3 Arena PvP. If you didn't understand all that, that's okay. All you need to know is that the winner of this event will walk away with $75,000. Enough money to repay your parents for letting you play video games in their basement for the last 30 years. And that's probably the kind of experience you're gonna need in order to beat out all the other uber elite nerds that stand in your way. Don't worry about gearing up your character for the ultimate fight. The contest will be hosted on special servers where you can create a level 70 wearing the best gear from day one. So the battle will truly be all about the elite skills. If you think you deal out the mass ponage necessary to win, you're going to have to ask your mom for one more favor. There's a $20 entrance fee. In this week's Apple News, Apple TV Take Two is here at last. That's right, the long-awaited revamping of the previously useless Apple TV has finally arrived with a downloadable 200 megabyte software upgrade that was made available this week. Some of the changes you'll notice are cosmetic improvements to the user interface, Flickr integration, 1080p, and of course, the movie rental feature. Rent movies right from your television. It's only $3.99 for standard def and $4.99 for HD. But are these features enough to convince you to drop 200 to 300 bucks on it? Now, we want to hear from you. What do you want to see on Logic TV? Leave your comments under this video at logictv.com and you could win a Halo 3 Legendary Edition. Yes, we really are giving this away, and I know you want it. So leave your comment and we'll pick the best suggestion to receive the fabulous prize. That's all you get for the news this week. Remember, come back every Monday for new episodes. This is Natalie Warren telling you how it is. Thanks for watching Logic TV.